There have been conflicting reports on the ceasefire announcement in Ukraine's Mariupol. The Russian Defense Ministry has announced a ceasefire around the Azovstal steel plant to allow a civilian evacuation from the industrial area that has been sheltering the Romanian U- Ukrainian resistance in the city. The ministry has also assured that the Russian troops will unilaterally stop any hostilities, withdraw units to a safe distance and ensure the withdrawal of civilians. However, Ukraine has denied that a ceasefire agreement has been agreed with Moscow. Ukraine's Deputy Prime Minister Irina Vashuk has said that there are no agreements on humanitarian corridors from Avastal today, stating that Russia had not agreed to its request for a humanitarian corridor for wounded soldiers and civilians trapped in the steel plant in the besieged port city of Mariupol. Well, last week, Russia said that it had gained full control of the strategic eastern Ukrainian city, except for the huge industrial area. And President Putin had ordered a blockade of the steelworks, where hundreds of civilians are reportedly sheltering with Ukrainian troops. Well, for more on this, our correspondent William Denslow is joining us live from Riga. William, some confusion over this ceasefire. What more do we know? Nick, of course, this comes just days after Russian President Vladimir Putin essentially said that the blockade around this area in Mariupol would be so strict that not even a fly could enter. The message coming now from Moscow is that they are uh, saying that they are open to a ceasefire to allow civilians to leave this particular area. The message from the Russian Defence Ministry is that the only thing that is stopping them is Uh, what they say are uh, those representatives from Ukraine using civilians as, quote, human shields. Russia says there's no uh, prohibiting factors as far as they're concerned to prevent civilians from leaving that area. And Nick, as you so rightly mentioned, a very different message we're hearing from Kiev. What we've heard is that the deputy prime minister is saying that as far as they're concerned, they are ready to see a humanitarian corridor come into effect. They have uh, everything they they say that they need to help these civilians leave this uh, besieged area of Ukraine. But of course, the message uh, from Ukrainian officials is that unless they have guarantees from both parties, there's no such thing as a humanitarian corridor. Thank you, Will. That was William Denslow joining us live from Riga.